pneumonia accounts for over 15% of all deaths of children under 5 years old internationally. In the United States, over half a million visits to emergency departments and over 50,000 deaths occurs due to pneumonia. Recently, the statistics of the number of dead people died from pneumonia in Virginia creates a gruesome effect among the Virginia residents. One way to detect pneumonia is by analyzing the X-ray report of a pneumonia affected patient's lungs. There are certain characteristics present in a pneumonia affected patient's lungs, such as fluid overload, bleeding, volume loss, lung cancer, or post radiation changes. Sometimes it becomes difficult to figure out those characteristics manually, even by some professional health specialist or doctor, which is also a time consuming and costly procedure. So, we, a group of computer scientists, decided to come forward and use machine learning to detect pneumonia from chest radiographic images automatically. Before we begin, we started to look for the existing work finding pneumonia in X-ray images using deep learning technique. After searching in the online, we get to know about ChexNet which is one of the popular state-of-the-art approach. However, in our work, we are not limiting ourselves only to detecting pneumonia. Rather, we dig deeper and find the exact location of the pneumonia. So for this project, we are using RSNA pneumonia detection dataset from Kaggle. So this dataset contains chest radiograph images from more than 25,000 patients. Among these patients, we have 8,525 normal images and 8,964 pneumonia affected images. We also have another categories of, categories of images that look similar to pneumonia affected images, but they represent some diseases other than pneumonia. So this is an example of our uh, dataset images. This is how a just radiograph image of for a normal patients look like. As you can see, this is another example which contains some fake fuzzy, fuzzy uh, white clouds over the darkness of lung which is known as lung opacity. This is actually a major symptom for pneumonia. There is also another category of images in our data set. So this image also contains some uh, white fake clouds, but it caused by some other diseases uh, that could be lung cancer or lung bleeding. Here we show some more inserts about our data set. This heat map shows that the most pneumonia affected regions are located in these two areas of the radiographs. Here in the second image, we can see that the most radiographs in our dataset contains one or two affected regions. At the bottom, we show that histogram for height and width of the pneumonia affected regions. Here we can observe that the result of our model, we used intersection over union metric for calculating model's performance. And we can see that after 18 epoch, model's IOU value is equal to 72% on the validation data. Here, the blue box indicates the ground truth boundary boxes of the pneumonia location, whereas the red one is the predicted one by our model. These all are the result from our model. Here we can observe that for most of the cases, uh, our model prediction confidence level is above 70%. These are some techniques that we are planning to implement to improve our model's performance. The intuition behind choosing these four models are when we look through the online, we found that they are very much popular in terms of object detection. Thank you everyone for watching. We hope to keep you updated with our next models.